Keep It Simple Phone Tech here with another installment in the basic series. This time we are going to talk about the apps icon. Now the apps icon is not to be confused with the recent apps button or, or key. The apps icon is an icon that's on your home screen and it's going to take you to what's called your applications tray. So any application icons that aren't already on one of your home screens when you press on the apps icon, it's going to take you to all of your applications for quick access. It's going to take you to, again, what's called the applications tray. You can probably already see the apps icon on this phone here. Its general location is towards the bottom of the touch screen, depending on the manufacturer. And I should, should also state this, that this is uh, an Android thing. So you're not going to have an apps icon on an iPhone and you're not going to have an apps icon on a Windows phone but we'll show you kind of a, a variation of that so again the apps icon is going to be towards the bottom of the screen in this case you can already see it right here the bottom right corner sometimes it'll be centered the bottom of the screen the way it looks in general it's going to be you see this kind of three by three dot formation and then when I pressed on it it took me right into my apps tray let's go back take a look at the icon again yours you may see a four by four configuration you may see two by two you might see little dots you might see little squares but that's generally what the apps icon looks like it'll be something like this and the idea is that each of those little dots or if you have little squares they represent kind of what the apps tray looks like so again let me go ahead i accidentally pressed on it here earlier but when i press on it it's going to take me into the totality of the applications on my phone for quick access your phone you might be able to scroll up and down versus left to right, but in most cases for Android, you're going to have uh, left and right scrolling. And of course, you're only going to scroll left to right or up and down if you have more than one page of icons. In this case, I have two pages. If you have a lot of applications, then you might have three pages, four pages, or you might have a long list up and down to go through. Just depends on how many applications that you have on your phone. Let's just take a brief look at a couple of Windows phones. Now Windows from their home screen or their start screen as they refer to it, they don't have an apps icon, but if you scroll down, you'll see an option that says all apps and an arrow that points to the right. So if you tap on that, it is going to take you to the list of all of your applications. So this is in essence their version or their take on the apps tray that Android would have. Here's another example of a Windows phone. This is version uh, Windows 8. The other phone that we we're looking at is Windows 10. So again, if we scroll down, you'll see it doesn't say all apps, but you'll see an arrow pointing to the right. And this is a common thing for Windows phones in that you have your main screen, your start screen, they call it, but it's a home screen and you'll have at the bottom of whatever applications that you would have on this home screen an arrow pointing to the right that will take you to the application tray or windows version i should say of the application tray incidentally another way to get there on windows this is not for android but this is for windows if you swipe from right to left on your screen you can get there as well so this is only from the home screen that you can do this, so do keep this in mind. But on Windows phones, an alternate way to get to your application list or application tray, we'll just refer to it as, again, from the home screen, swipe from right to left on the screen, and there is your application tray. And finally, just to show you this briefly, if you have an iPhone, you don't have to worry about the applications icon because there is not one. Instead, Apple chooses to just give you home screens so that the more applications that you build up, 
the more screens that you'll have with each of those uh, icons on there. So there's not a dedicated tray with everything. You're just going to find it on one of your home screens. A few Android phones will do this also. Um, LG G5 is one example of a phone, Android phone that just came out here recently that has the same concept where instead of having an application icon taking you to an application tray, it's just a series of home screens that will house all of your application icons. Okay, so that'll do it. That's the application icon. It's an Android thing, an application icon. Again, it takes you to your application tray. It takes you to all the applications or application icons that are on your phone. Windows has their own take on it, and we saw that. And iPhone doesn't have an application icon at all. They, they keep it simple, if you will, with putting all the icons on a number of home screens for you. With that, thank you very much for watching. I hope this video was helpful for you. This is Keep It Simple Phone Tech.